what is going on with this Groudon at almost $50. Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Collector and today we're going to take a look at the Groudon. We're going to try to understand what is going on. I did make a video actually a month back on Paradox Rift where I was actually eyeing out the Groudon and the Steelix, especially the Groudon where it was back at $30. So I'm going to leave that if you want to go take a look at it. But most importantly, we're going to take a look at how is price evolving in both the European and the American market as I like to focus on the channel. We'll also take a look at the supply in the European market using the Discord bot that is available for free to anyone just by joining the Discord. And the link is in the description down below. It's absolutely free. We'll take a look at seal products, see what's happening with seal again, both in the European Union and the American market. So TG player. And then we'll touch on an interesting point, And that is what Groudon become the Magikarp of Paradox Rift. So without further ado, as you saw at the beginning of the video, this card is almost a $50 card. As you can see here on TG Player, there are confirmed sales in the 50s. Now that was just one, this 59, I'm not sure what's happening there, but I think it's safe to say that it is selling in the mid 40s, 46, 43, 44, 43, 45, 44. So I think it's, it's safe to say that it's selling in the mid 40s. Now, if we take a look at listings, as you can see here, the first one, the cheapest one is at $43, then we're up into 46. And then in, as we go into page number two, we're already at in the 50 mid 50s, and then obviously higher. And one thing I want you to notice is there are many listings, there's actually 20 listings, and uh, most some of them, as you can see, are either Japanese or Korean. And then as you can see, it, on the English listings, that's just one thing, one listing. So one car per listing, one, another car per listing. And again, here, all just sellers with one card year two and here four. So it looks like supply is drying out. Now, I'm sure there's plenty, there's thousands of crowd out there, it's just that people don't want to sell. Obviously, if you bought on the way up, and you made that not mainly because of you want the car in your collection, but for a, let's say a Pokemon investing, or probably as a flip or a short term buy, then you most likely if you bought at 30, you don't want to sell now, you can start thinking about selling now in the 50s. But obviously, if you bought on the way up, you want to wait and see what it's going on. And obviously, as people will sell, eventually, what could happen is that prices will move lower. However, let's take a look at what is going on in the European Union. So in the European Union, it's been pretty interesting. And I'm going to show you in just a second, how supply and prices have been evolving using the e market tool. But as of today, there's only one listing and that's Switzerland. So it's outside of the European Union. It is in Europe, it's just like in the UK here. They are in Europe, but they're not in the European Union. So 21 and then you go in straight into the 30s. And if you want a seller with at least two cards, so multiple listing, you have to pay 20, 30 euros basically. And that is if you're not familiar with car market, that is without shipping. So it's a bit cheaper in the European Union, it has been that way. And in the old video I make, I was actually calling it a play in the European Union when this car was available in multiple copies, several copies for 22 euros. Again, I'll leave it uh, the link as I'm talking right now as usually on top of my face. So I, I did call it and uh, just like I actually called uh, the March card when it was in the 50s. And of one of an old video of mine, which I also link up, I think it's the top five Skyland Violet cards to buy now. Perhaps I, I should make another video on the top five, 10 cards to buy now. Let me, let me know guys what you think. Obviously it, it was my opinion, but it was like, let's, let's call it an educated guess. So if you want me to do a video, kind of something like that, just let me know down in the comments as it would be very much appreciated. Before we move into CEO, let's take a look at the supply in the European Union. So again, this is the Discord bot that is available for free in the Discord. If you want to utilize, you just need to, to join. And uh, this is the supply for Groudon. So as you can see, it goes all the way back basically a month ago, the end of April, and uh, it's been crashing. We're now below 60 copies available in the market. And as you can see, price has been pretty much steady. The blue line is the average of the four lowest listed and the orange line is the medium price. So they only recently started to spike up. This chart basically makes sense. Supply is going down and now price is starting to move higher. So this supply moving lower, suggesting us that demand was in place 
and price here for in this instance took quite some time to move higher i suspect that because as i said there were multiple sellers with several copies like 10 20, 20 up to 18 copies of Groudon per seller and there were two three of them the major european sellers and that's usually what happens in general obviously as well if, if it was in the us it would have happened the same thing many many copies are selling but they're from the same seller at the same price the average price is going to be the same because they were the lowest listed hope it makes sense so as we're here let's take a look at the supply for paradox rift booster boxes in the european union that's what's going on basically it's stable in the high numbers we're talking about 1500 boxes available in the european market and as you can see price has been pretty stagnant it's a similar situation in the american market however it is starting to move a bit higher i mean if i want to be honest with you and i almost always am this is a three dollar move it's about a three percent move so i wouldn't even call it a move it's stagnant but it finally moved from the 90s into the 100 it could go back to the 90s i would be surprised i'm not calling this like a bull market for paradox rift boxes it would just be a joke so it just basically it's it's not dropping furthermore in price and if we take a look at seal cases now again from 500 to now 560s as you can see here there are sales recorded sales in the 600 so it did move up about 20 percent so it looks like people are willing to pay the the case premium and that's usually a common thing when it comes to cases and uh, i think it's a bit interesting that cases are moving and uh, what we could expect potentially is as the price of these singles move up then eventually at one point the market will realize that these singles have, are moving higher so people will start to buy the boxes cheap 1995 hundred and at that point obviously the demand will take an increase in price as obviously supply will be pretty stable and then another thing i wanted to show you before we move on to the magic card and we're going to talk about how how we could compare those cards is the fact that if we only take a look at single cards so singles so let's filter for cards here on tg player the Groudon is now the number two most expensive card in the set and the Rory Moon has been pretty stagnant. It, it looks like it found a bottom in the 50s. And it hasn't really moved much. Whereas obviously the Groudon, as we just witnessed, moved higher from the 20s to now the mid 40s. So now Groudon is the second most expensive card. And the question should be sp spontaneous. Is the Groudon going to be the new magic card? Now let's take a look at the magic card actually. As you can see, it dropped all the way down to 44. And now it's in the low 100, so over 2x. Now, if we only talk about that, so percentage gain, so 100%, it will be in this situation, 2x is 100% gain, obviously. We bought them in the 20s, and now we're actually at 2x. So if you use that comparison, you could say that we could be near a top for the Groudon. Obviously, if you look at an absolute value in terms of dollars, currency gain then you moved from 44 to 100 that's roughly a 60 dollar gain so could you expect the same gain from 20 to 80 i don't know it's obviously as we know in finance people like to talk in percentages that's the returns are based on percentage not absolute value obviously that would be absurd and then obviously when it comes to demand the fact that price has moved higher is selling that the demand is there again whether that is actual demand based on the p fact that people like the card or it's demand based on the fact that the market is in a bull run and people just want to find the next opportunity so obviously it's nearly impossible to know which one it is only thing we know price went higher if you take a look at percentages then we could be near the top for Groudon between the Groudon and the Magikarp which card do I prefer well, the Magic Card does remind people of the Tina from Lost Origin, and this character right here just, just absolutely cool. I do own the Groudon because when I made the video, I also said I was going to buy it potentially, and I did. So I do put my money where my mouth is, and I can tell you that just in person, it's a great looking card. The eye, the yellow eye, you can see the all on the eye, just spectacular. I don't have the Magic Card because I, 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 do, I, I do what I preach. I buy low and I sell high. I bought at 20s and I could start to sell now. The Magikarp I didn't buy back at the time because 
I was putting my money into other products. So let me know your thoughts on the crowd. Do you see it going higher? Do you see it be the magic herb of Paradox Rift? And what do you think could be the next best thing, the next car to focus on? As always, hope to see you in the Discord. Hope to see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.